Welcome to Team's Dev with Tim. Today we're gonna unbox my new camera, the GH5, a speed booster, and we're gonna pair them to my Sigma 17 to 50. I did peek into the box, I saw the camera compared to my Canon 50, but I did not turn it on, so it would be a first impression for me. We have the camera itself. I'll just set it aside here. A charger, a battery charger, and the battery. Let's take a look at the beauty. So why did I upgrade to the GH5? Well first, 10-bit footage gives me a lot of room to play with my films. When you shoot 8-bit, especially with LED lights, you really see the limitations of it. Also, with the Canon 50 I feel like I've learned everything I can about this camera and the GH5 has a lot of features that I don't know and I can learn because it's feature packed with a lot of video capabilities and things. So the body feels great and the grip feels really good. I have big hands. The Canon M50's grip felt very small, although when I added the cage it felt good. So let's unbox the Viltrox and now I realize they don't have any scissors. That's okay, I have my fingernails. Cool, we got an Allen key. Let's set this aside as well. So, let's start mounting things. And I'm always scared to do this, especially since I'm always shooting at home. I have two cats. The second one is, is temporary, but cats are hairs flying in the air all over, you know. Wow. The GH5's sensor is really small. This is why it has one of the best IBIS out there. Look at this small sensor. It will probably be the only time that I'll actually expose the sensor like this. Oh my god. Close it right away. How do I even... Okay, I got it, I got it. Here's the red. From what I understood, the Viltrox is a bit loose and there is a bit of wobble here, but it still works. I'll probably have to take this off, but okay. You know what I'll do? Before that, I'll attach my Arca Swiss plate, so it might balance things off a bit. It has a single screw here. And one thing I love already about it is, look, the Arca Swiss plate is so far away from the battery door. Come on, Canon! Of course, it also has two slots for micro SD cards which are not in the battery door. I can actually still have my camera on my tripod and change SD cards. So, while I don't have a cage, I'll mount it to my GH5. Probably buy a cage pretty soon. Just because it adds more protection and more capabilities to the camera, which would be nice. Okay, this is pretty balanced, that's good. The moment of truth. I'm always scared it won't fit. I gotta align things again. Where's the red dot? I saw it. There we go. This feels like a behemoth already and I didn't even insert the battery. Alright. The battery life of the Canon 50 is pretty bad as well. I've learned to shoot with a dummy battery connected to a power. So this battery, although it feels a bit bigger than the Canon 50's battery, still feels small, but it's supposed to have the GH5 last for a whole lot longer. I'm already putting it wrong. I love the shape of it, there's no way you'll put it wrong. The Canon M50's battery is square, so you always get it wrong. Already got a confirmation, f oh wow, this is great as well. This clickiness, oh wow. It's a switch on the M15, it's so annoying. Look at that, we already have light. Why is there a light? Oh, it was turned on. Let's see. This thing feels like a tank. I mean, this screen is twice as thick as the Canon 50s. I feel like I can throw it at a wall and it will survive. I won't do that. Oh. Well, I can't attach a plate because it actually bugs the screen. That's why I had a problem opening it up. So I won't be doing that. Later on, I'll check if I have other Arca Swiss plates. I don't want to ruin the screen at the first day. All right, let's boot this baby up. Please set the clock. Hold on, let me set this up. Oh, 
Of course, I can't see anything because I don't have the... I don't have an SD card! Oh my god, I'm so silly. I have the SD card right here. So many components! How do I open it up? Oh, I have a V30 card, which from what I read is supposed to give me up to 150 megabyte shooting capabilities with 4K 10-bit 422. So I'll, I'll need to buy a new SD card because my short films need to be in a very good quality. Okay, so it's just showing me the Lumix. What? What did it say? Oh, I need to turn it on. This feels completely alien. What am I doing? Uh, where's the video? Okay, so I'll play with it later. I'll attach this handle as well later because my M50 has a new handle that I attached specifically to the cage, which you can watch the video up here. Smaller than an egg or the size of an egg, really interesting. All right, and now for the joke of the week. What kind of shorts do clouds wear? You'll find the answer down in the comments below where you can leave a like for this video so more people will see it and have fun just watching me unbox a GH5 and don't understand why the spring is frozen. Gotta check it out. In here you can watch next week's video and if it's not out yet you can watch last week's video right there. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next week on Teas Day with Tim. They were drinking oolong tea by the recommendation of Fanciful Tea from the Frame Voyager Discord. Thank you, it's really tasty.